Welcome. So good to be with you on this Wednesday as we get together for a little midweek Bible study and devotional time. And I'm so glad that you've taken some time out of your day, whenever it is, uh, to join us to do just that, to hopefully dig into God's Word and, and hopefully be uplifted and encouraged and strengthened by what He has to say to us. You know, someone once said, there's no such thing as a Bible character, just a character who was alive when the Bible was written. And I, and I like that. I, I like the the, the kind of the thought behind that, because the point being that the people we read about in the Bible that, you know, these these Bible characters that we read about and often look at as heroes of, of faith, they're just normal people. They're just like you and me. I always appreciate the words of James in James chapter 5, verse 17. He's talking about prayer, but he talks about Elijah, who was just this amazing, faith-filled prophet of God. And he says about Elijah, Elijah was a human being, even as we are. He was a, he was a hum, human being just like we are. And it, it wasn't just Elijah. Everybody we read about in Scripture, we're you're human beings just like we are, just like each and every one of us. They sinned like the rest of us do. They disappointed God at times like the rest of us do. They struggled with faith like the rest of us do. And Scripture doesn't hide their sins and their shortcomings and their lack of faith at times, but rather Scripture makes sure that we know both the good and the bad about their journeys of faith. And here's the cool part. Despite their weaknesses and their failures and their vulnerabilities, God still used them in great ways to do great things. And he tells us, I think he tells us their stories, uh, part of about, you know, ultimately to tell his story. But I think part of the reason why he tells their stories is so that we can know that he can use us in mighty ways as well, despite our weaknesses and our failures. And certainly one of the many Bible characters that come to mind, but one of them in particular that I always think about when it comes to this idea of of God using us in powerful ways, despite our failures and our weaknesses and, and kind of this journey of faith and what that looks like is a guy by the name of Abraham, which I'm sure many of you have heard of. But Abraham if you read through the Bible, you read his story. He certainly was a man of of great faith, but that faith didn't mean that he never had doubts. That faith didn't mean that he never sinned. That faith didn't mean that he never questioned God. That faith didn't mean that he never grew impatient and tried to fix things that didn't seem to be working out in the way that he thought they should happen in the time frame that he thought they should happen. In fact, quite the opposite. All of those things marked Abraham's faith journey. He did sin. He did question God. He did grow impatient and try to fix things when they weren't going according to his timetable. And yet, despite all of this, Abraham is still listed in Hebrews chapter 11 as one of these pillars of our faith. And the apostle Paul refers to him in Romans chapter 4 verse 11 as the father of all who believe. So what does that say to us about our faith? You know, life can be amazingly wonderful at times, right? And there are so many things that we get to enjoy and that we can be thankful and grateful for. And yet, at the same time, life can also be really, really, really hard and confusing and heartbreaking and discouraging at times, right? And behind all the ups and downs and the joys and sorrows and the victories and defeats, the moments of strong faith and the moments of doubt, God's love and faithfulness never wavers. We may not know what he is doing in our lives. We may not understand why things aren't happening as we think they should. Even still, God loves us and his love for us and his patience toward us is as unfailing as it is gracious. Life is a journey full of twists and turns and ups and downs, high points and low valleys. We don't arrive at our destination without some challenging moments and heartaches, along with some lapses of strength and character and faithfulness. But transformation doesn't simply happen in a moment or in the blink of an eye. It happens along the journey, right? I like how Paul puts it in 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18. He says, And we all who with unveiled faces reflect the Lord's glory, are being transformed into his image with ever increasing glory, which comes from the Lord, who is the Spirit. I think that's a pretty apt description of what the faith journey of life, uh, what the journey of faith is like. A transformation, we're being transformed into ever increasing glory. We're growing up into that. And certainly we're going to face times when we need to cry out to God in our confusion or in our grief or in our hurt, our difficulties, our discouragement our wavering faith, but that doesn't mean that we've lost our faith. It means we're human, 
and that we're honestly searching for answers from God if we take our, our questions to Him because our lives are defined by our faith in Him. As our Father in heaven demonstrated with Abraham, He's not quick to judge or to punish or to destroy or to deny the deepest questions of our hearts. Instead, He patiently, gently, and graciously works with us and in us and through us to keep our faith alive and point us in the direction of His glory. Our job is to stay on the journey and to be honest and humble as we lay our questions and doubts at His feet. Life is not a series of snapshots, thankfully. If it were, people could choose some pretty rough snapshots from Abraham's life and paint him as unfaithful, as fearful, as one who was frustrated with God. And yes, each of those snapshots were true for a moment in his journey of faith. But thankfully for us as believers and thankfully for Abraham, life is not a snapshot, but it is a, a motion picture, if you will, written by grace. It is a dynamic thing moving. It's not static. It is ever moving and changing. God looked at Abraham's motion picture, his journey, and called him the father of all who believe. Abraham's life reminds us that the issue is whether we will continue our journey with God and if we will continually be humble and honest with him about where our hearts are while on our journey. Abraham did both. My hope and prayer is that you and I will do the same. Hope you have a blessed day. God bless.